who we got with us this morning? Miss T. Miss T, could you tell us a bit about yourself? Thirty-six, of seven kids. Um, I have eleven brothers, two big sisters, two little sisters. Um, I was a baby for thirteen years. <laughs> um. Both of my parents are deceased. My oldest child is deceased. My one-year-old is deceased. And I have a birthday coming up. <laughs> what kind of household did you grow up in? Like, were your mom and dad present? Um, I was with my grandmother, and then I was with my aunt in South Pasadena. And then I moved back here. <laughs> what schools did you go to? A lot. I moved a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Did you graduate? No. What um, caused you to leave school? Um, I got an expulsion. <laughs> what happened? I was, I was selling shot bottles in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> and, yeah. What gave you the idea to do that? I was trying to get some money to smoke weed. <laughs> Who introduced you to that lifestyle? My older brothers. How was it growing up in such a with so many siblings? Like, how was that? And you were the baby? For 13 years. Right. How was that, like? Um, well, it was only six of us in one house at one time. And it was my one of my big sisters and me. And she was, of course, mean. So I played by myself. Because <laughs> my brothers wouldn't really talk, tag along with them, of course. <laughs> I got beat up a lot. By your brothers and sisters? Well, that's that's that tough love. That's that <laughs> they gotta toughen you up for the world. Yeah. Um, when you left school, where did life take you? Um, homeschooling, and then uh, I stopped letting the teacher in. Why? Cause it was just boring to me, especially me and the teacher. Miss, yeah. <laughs> What kind of jobs have you had over your lifetime? Hmm. A variety. I've been clerical, janitorial, uh, home health care, and stripping. <laughs> stripping? Was that around here? Mm, I was in Illinois. Where were you at in Illinois, stripping? At Bottoms Up. Brooklyn. How long did that last? And what was your experiences like there? Oh, I only worked the day shift. <laughs> Why did you only work the day shift? Because the night shift, it was just too much. It was, yeah, they still. <laughs> Describe working in a strip joint to people who <laughs> don't understand how that work works or to young ladies who think like it's just easy money and nothing's going to happen. Like, how does that go in there? A lot of the stuff that they um, portrayed in Players Club actually does happen. <laughs> and a lot of other things happen. What made you stop? My friend, she got carjacked and then yeah so too close. <laughs> after you left bottoms up where did you go home health care yeah. how old were you when you had your first child i was 10 10, ten years old rape. okay mm -hmm. it, and that's the child that you lost my oldest so you lost your oldest and your youngest no, my second to youngest. Okay. My youngest would be one in December. How is it with, with raising them babies like that? Like, what's that like? 
well, it's hard, but it's fun. Cause they, they got their own personalities. <laughs> are the fathers involved, or is it multiple fathers or one father? Yes, they are. They actually have custody of their kids. <laughs> That's different. Mm -hmm. I have custody of one. Do you have access to them? Do you get to talk mm -hmm. to them, communicate with them? What's your relationships like with your kids? Well, I talk to them every other day. My oldest daughter, she's always gone, so I don't get to talk to her that much. <laughs> she's a busybody. She has cheerleading, band, basketball, school, school, she's an sister's active, house. Active teenager. She's never at home. <laughs> so what's what you been dealing with lately? What's going on in your world? Huh. no loyalty when you say that what do you mean by that what is what brought you to that conclusion people <laughs> like me myself i feel if you don't if you're not loyal to a person then you can't well i can't trust people that aren't loyal to me or don't give the same loyalty that i give so something happened that made you just people lying for no reason not keeping their word yep. and what kind of situation or position does that put you in when they do that do you keep messing with them do you cut mm -hmm. them off do you argue mm -hmm. what's i start treating people how i want to be treated and then I treat them how I feel they treat me. I got a bad habit of tit for tat. <clears throat> you don't let stuff go? I do. Because after I treat them how I feel they treat me, if they still doing it, then I, yeah, just leave them alone. What else has been going on with you? Uh, looking for a job. I can't find anything that I want to do, that I like to do. Have you went on uh, Indeed, mm -hmm. Indeed.com and checked out them job listings? Because they got stuff for everything on there. Yeah. What would you like to do, actually? I want to open my own salon, doing have, nails and hair. And have you been to cosmetology school? Yeah, I didn't graduate, though. And my grandpa was mad. <laughs> Your grandpa was mad? Because he paid for it, and I didn't finish. Why didn't you finish? What kept you I from finishing? I thought that I knew everything. <laughs> so uh, I knew the basics, and I already had a gift to do it, so just quit. When did you realize you didn't know everything? When I applied at the salon, and they said that. <laughs> <laughs> that I had to be licensed. And, yeah. So are you going to get your license one day or how's that going to go? Like, I'm thinking about it, but I really just been more so leaning towards business. What kind of business? Oh, opening up your own salon. Mm -hmm. So you want to be... hiring licensed. Beautician. So you, you figured out a way around getting your <laughs> license. You gonna hire everybody with the license. Yep. <laughs> so how long before that's going? Or how long have you put a plan together? Are you working yes. on a plan? What's going on with that? Oh man. So I kinda started it and I had a did the LLC thing mm -hmm. and started using Square Up. Mm -hmm. Well, I have money stuck with Square Up <laughs> and I don't get it and I don't have an LLC anymore. But well, so, I'll what's the next? What's the next <laughs> plan or what's the? Uh, I need to get my GED. 
-hmm. what's stopping you from that no, I'm not too busy because I know that there's no such thing as being too busy. People just make time for what's important to them. And like really just haven't been looking for classes to go to. Do you have a lot of distractions in your life that you need to remove? Um, my distraction. <laughs> so if you know you're the distraction, what are you doing to prevent it? prevent you from being you or really distraction. I'm really a procrastinator. faker. Procrastinator. faker. Procrastinator. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I know I can do the what I need to do to get what I want done. I just put it off. Why? I have no idea. <laughs> if you want to live a better life, what's, what's holding you back from moving towards that. Huh. If you're yeah. tired of what you're going through, if you're tired of dealing with what you're dealing with, what's keeping you there? Me, for real. So, I have days where I want to change and then I have days where I'm content. More days where you're content than <laughs> what you want to change. Um, what kind of advice would you give a young girl who is thinking about traveling in the same path that you've traveled in your 36 year old? What would you tell her? Finish school is very important. Because <laughs> you can get a job, but a career, yeah, you have to finish school. If you can turn back the hands of time and a young Miss T and go back and talk to her as a little girl knowing what you know today, what would you tell her? A lot. <laughs> Basically, to finish school and not to be so hard-headed. <laughs> Stop being such a risk-taker. Do you have any ways you can be contacted if people want to reach out and share resources with you? Or mm, I have Facebook. Who, what's your shout out? Your Facebook handle? Uh, Latoya Robertson, twenty ten, okay. at Facebook.com. Okay. Uh, we appreciate you taking time out with us, Miss T. And if you have any advice. Anything you want to leave us with in closing, anything you want to say in closing, now's the time you can say it. Never cheat the man upstairs. Basically, just pray. We appreciate you, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you.